All right, so what was a, a crack up here in the test pipe? There is the passenger side. Uh, test pipe cracked and I tried to spot weld it to try and just get it held together so it would stay together uh, long enough for me to be able to drive it because I did think that that was going to come apart so that was awesome that I actually got that part of it done enough but lo and behold when I came under here because the, the Honda is now missing out of the garage as you can see now I went and I was getting ready to take that pipe down, but yeah, so that happened, and that that is it is so far. So that weld broke on on the exhaust as well up here, and not just down here by the test pipe. The rattle stopped, so that's good news. Um, but I, I think somewhere along the line, it just wasn't made right. Maybe it was just cut on the wrong angle or welded together on the wrong angle and binding in these because it seemed after like a, a few heating and cools, there was maybe some distortion in the piping somewhere in here. But overall, um, this is where I'm at. Which, I'm not counting out Flashark yet because, again, it's a newer company. It's not like Borla who have, you know, been around for more than a few years. They may be newer to the process or ironing out a few bits and pieces here and there that, that may have shown up on, on my example here. So, at this point this is what kind of makes or breaks a company is if the customer support can see what is going on knowing that the customer is definitely you know out and yes it, it does take them you know money to go ahead and try to get things figured out and maybe resent back out i am um, in contact with them via email uh, right now so, uh, we'll see what happens via email. They wanted a panoramic um, shot of the actual exhaust. Uh, they didn't just say that, hey, uh, so sorry for you. They're, you're, you're down and out. Uh, if you want another one, you're going to have to buy it full price. Uh, they, they didn't say that. So, that's good. Um, in my honest opinion, I, 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 this is this is driven in Florida and I'll, on a lot of smooth roads. So the little bit of construction that it went through wasn't potholes or anything. It was literally going from one smooth pavement down about an inch and a half, one layer of asphalt down here, and it dropped down into that smooth. So one smooth to a small drop down into another one and that seemed to be enough driving at 40 miles an hour which the speed limit was 40 miles an hour due to construction zone but otherwise it's a, a 45 um, zone that people go usually a little bit quicker in that area of town regardless um, that seemed to be um, enough to where this not only snapped itself uh, the the Y pipe but it also cracked the test pipe on the passenger side as well so it's a bit frustrating i i gotta say this is definitely a bit on the more frustrating side i don't have a welder that's proper for welding the, the test pipe back together because it, it should be tig where you have the little hot torch and you're you know kind of melting it in there not the usual just driving it in with the, the mig or stick for that matter but I can get it done to where it's solid. It just, you know, won't look as as cute as I could if I had the proper welder to um, get that stitched back together. I don't know what it's going to come about if they're going to ask me to pay for another one or pay for shipping on another piece. But this is the update that I have for you right now. Um... All of the rattles did go apart and, and stop, but it also broke apart and stopped working. So 
it's left me a little bit frustrated, but it is what it is. Um, certain things happen. And again, I do think that new companies have, you know, things to iron out or whatever. And I, I do think that in this case, I honestly think the welds may have been a little bit on the too thin side. And that's why it snapped over in the backside and may have torn and put too much weight down on the test pipe, which now is broken. So that's what I honestly think has happened. Um, I didn't have a camera up under there to, to see it happen in real time or anything, obviously. So it's just a guessing game at this point. But, you know, I have a test pipe I have to repair now um, that's been with me since, you know, for five years or so now, and it hasn't caused me a problem until I put the, this Y pipe on. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, update that I have as of right now, um, middle of May. Like I said, I, I am talking with them uh, via email, trying to figure out whether uh, they're gonna send another one out, or it would be nice if they sent, you know, the Y pipe and, you know, a pair of test pipes out, you know, just because I, but I don't run that company. Um, so it is what it is. I'll see what happens with it. I will definitely keep you guys updated. As frustrating as it is, it is what it is. I do appreciate everybody watching and liking and subscribing. Um, I gotta, I gotta learn to stop saying, um, until the next one, I will definitely see you guys. And I hope you all have a fabulous day. Or better. Why not have a better than a fabulous day? Which I hope all of you do. Peace.